Okay, today I'm shooting my Shiloh Sharps 1874, 4570. Yes, it was. I'm using a 520 grain bullet. Get, with a money nose, with Swiss 2F powder, and uh, I'm shooting at a 990-yard target, 34-inch diameter yep. dinger, and we'll see how it goes. What's the velocity been on that? It's around 1,270 feet per second. Over 520 grains, it just keeps going. Shooting at the 990. That one was to the uh, three o'clock side, uh, not far off a of dead center. That Same may... elevation as the others, but a, a few inches to the right of center, and the others were a few to the left. That made a nice ding tone. Yeah. He's already hit it a few times before I even started recording. That's how far away it looks from here. Right over the top at about one o'clock. Just yeah. barely missed the edge. As we'd say, if it was square, it would have got it. Just a couple inches off the edge, wasn't it? Yeah. Right at one o'clock. Joy of black powder. Maybe it's because there are all those pretty little trees painted on it now. <laughs> happy trees. Happy, happy, happy little tree. trees. Uh, happy little tree. <laughs> uh, same thing at 11 o'clock. Just barely yep. missed the top edge. I better come down a minute. Oh, right, a uh, quarter dinger at about between two and three o'clock. Good elevation, though. Yeah. Oh, perfect. I think the wind carried me over there. I think so. I'm not feeling it behind me anymore, and so I'm guessing that you might be feeling it because the building's blocking it from me. Not seeing the trees moving much out there. There you go. Uh, ab yeah. About three inches in at 10 o'clock. Maybe four inches. Just barely see the little trees down below it moving slightly on their tops. Wow. I saw the dust behind the target. I don't know how it got there without going through it. I really can't tell where it went, Steve. It looked like it somehow got Maybe right behind it. I just saw dust come out top and both sides, like it exploded behind it. 
the infamous 4570 trajectory yeah. drops straight down after it's done going. <laughs> well, if I believed it, I would say that's exactly what happened. We have it on video now. Yeah. Perpetuate the myth. Uh, that was at 10 o'clock, just missed the edge. Yeah, the dust isn't moving very fast, but it's going off to the left. Yeah, it is. Mm. I'm kind of tempted to go to, to WDRA, but that's a long drive. Pardon? Oh, 12 o'clock, just over it. Just, just squeeze past. Just outside of Cheyenne. Coming from behind the wind now. I think it's going to be blowing straight up the hill. It's all coming up, boiling up behind the square. Hit. Dead, dead center, just a few inches below perfect elevation. Nice shot. Yep. You're almost dead center on that shot. <laughs> okay. Wowee. That one was right almost on, well, it's right in the group of two that was just left of dead center. It's three now in that you got a group you could cover with your hand. I don't think I'd want to be sitting out there. No. That target's getting a lot of spots on it now. Well, he owns that target. He's the only one that's put spots on it. I suppose I'm going to have to go up and paint it. <laughs> well, you're the one that messed it up. <laughs> Hit. That one is just to the right of dead center. Perfect elevation. Man, it's you're getting so many now. I have to really think for a while to see where the new one is when it appears. You need to spread them out a little more. You're clumping them up. It's Get yeah. tough to see. I'll work on that. <laughs> but I don't mean out so much I'm they're really off the target. Call hide and seek. Where'd the bullet go? The top right's pretty open. <laughs> Hit. Hit. Three o'clock. It's uh, about halfway between the right edge and the and the center. Perfect elevation. There's three in a row. Go for an eight pin. Yep. <laughs> yeah, let's hope the wind keeps cooperating. He's, he's done it a few times in Montana. I imagine he can get it here. Okay, boy oh boy. That is a couple inches high of center directly above that same one. It's just a couple inches right and a couple inches high. Darn good shooting, Stevie. I think this load's working pretty well. Yeah, so's the shooter. What the heck was that? He rang the bell, the hand cannon over there. No, but it sounded like it rang several times, like ding, 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 like there was an echo. I think it was a can canister round. Oh, you got her. Right at uh, 11 o'clock, a few inches in from the edge. That was a clean really spot. Good. That was an easy one to see where it hit. Yeah, I saw that one too. Yeah. He's got some real pretty oh, oh, shooting an 8mm mouth. Oh. 
Five in a row. Yep. That's why. That's why it's so. Yeah. I didn't even see that one. Me either. I saw no dust and I saw nothing on the target. What are those quiet dings? Yeah. Are you pushing them so fast that it disintegrated before it got to the target? <laughs> Maybe so. That's odd. I saw no sign. Take it, no. pro take it provisional. <laughs> yeah, we, we won't count that one. No. It's AWOL. That was the, that 1280? 1292. 1292. A little bit faster than what they've been running. Yeah. The others are all down in the 1270s. Well, that can't make it a thousand yards. No. <laughs> That's all of that particular load. I have a little variation nice shooting, for the next Steve. one. I think I'll take a little break.